What's up guys, Chick Z from Chick's Tech Reviews. Today I've got my hands on the brand new Reed E4 Plus electric scooter. Now this is a uniquely designed e-scooter with many great features including a powerful 350 watt motor capable of reaching speeds up to 25 kilometers per hour which is actually the legal limit in the UK for both bikes and scooters. Now you also have large 10 inch puncture proof solid rubber tires so you never need to worry about getting a puncture. Also to make that solid tire experience more comfortable you also have a rear suspension. So overall the drive is quite smooth and the motor is fairly quiet in operation. Now the packaging is pretty robust, big box weighing around 17 kgs. Quick look inside and you will find a power cable and power supply. And you can see the voltage, it's 42 volts, two amps. Now you're also getting a bag of screws and some tools along with some clear instructions on how to get started. Now the scooter comes more or less pre-assembled but the only thing you do need to connect is the handlebar and of course they had to keep the handlebar loose or the scooter would not fit inside this box. So all you do is tighten the four screws and you're good to go. Now the E4 Plus has a foldable design so you simply lift the locking latch and pull the lever down. Now the entire handlebar can then be folded down against itself and simply clips onto a latch on the back wheel which secures the entire scooter in place allowing you to lift it up like a handlebar and carry it where necessary. Now the charger port can be found at the bottom part of the base. It takes around four hours to fully charge this scooter but it will give you a 28 kilometer range, which is not bad at all. Now the actual deck is made from high grade aluminium and so is the rest of the body. And as mentioned earlier, you do have an incredible rear suspension and the actual casing for the internal battery and controller is IPX4 rated waterproof. So no worries if you use this scooter in the rain, it's not gonna mess up your battery. Now let's have a quick look at our handlebar controls. On the left you have your brake and a type of manual bell. On the right side you have your throttle or accelerator and in the middle we have an LCD display which shows all sorts of info such as speed, battery levels, power mode, headlight and also Bluetooth status. Now the LCD panel itself is waterproof treated so no worries if rain gets on the display. Now if you double press that power button it will activate your lights and this scooter does have plenty of lights so at the front we have our ambient headlights and the surround color which is blue at the moment that can be adjusted within the smartphone app which I will show you a little bit later in the video. Rear LED brake lights but we're not finished there you've also got color changing LED lights at the bottom of the scooter. Here is a smartphone app and once connected to the scooter via Bluetooth it will give you a speedometer and your battery information on the front page. Now you have complete control over the LED lights so you can customize the front headlight borders, you can choose your own colors, you can also adjust the colors of the LEDs underneath the main board including adjusting the overall brightness. So really like the customization options of the very cool looking LED lights on this scooter. Now here is a setting page with some useful options here. You can change the scooter name, change the Bluetooth connecting password, switch between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. And here is something very useful, startup settings. Now by default it is set on non-zero startup mode, which means you have to give the scooter a kick or a push off in order to activate the motor. So when the speed hits above five kilometers per hour, you can then press the throttle and the motor is activated. Now the kickstart mode is the default mode and that is the same as you may have seen in the Xiaomi M365. But here's the mode that I prefer, it's called zero startup mode. That means no kickstart needed, no push off needed. Just press the throttle when you're ready and the motor will just fly. So it's nice to have the option to choose but for me it's all about zero startup mode. So the solid rubber tires are holding up well. I have no fear of getting a puncture and the rear suspension is giving me quite a smooth drive. Now I can still feel some slight bumps, but it's not bad at all. You're not going to feel strong vibrations or shaking or any other discomfort associated with solid tires. On the contrary, it's actually quite a smooth and comfortable drive thanks to that rear suspension. Furthermore, another thing I really like about this is the weight. Once folded down, you are only carrying 14 and kgs and it's compact enough so you can easily pick it up and store it in the boot of your car. 
So there you have it guys, that was the Reed E4 Plus, a powerful lightweight electric scooter giving you a decent speed and range, but more importantly a safe and enjoyable smooth ride along with lots of tweaking and customization options and with some amazing ambient lighting features which will certainly turn heads. This is one of the finer examples of a premium electric scooter designed with safety in mind but also quite stylish. I also like the tyres, you don't need to worry about getting a puncture ever as usually when you get a puncture on an electric scooter it is a nightmare to get that changed. Now kudos to Reed for their clever implementation of the rear suspension. I've not seen it done like this before and I have to say it's pretty effective. That's all for this video, if you have any questions feel free to fire them at me in the comments and I'll do my best to respond ASAP. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you all have an amazing day. I'll see you guys in the next one.